Well, good morning, or good afternoon. I'm out here. My son had to run and go do his taxes, and he's picking them up. But I'm sitting here and watching people come in and out of these buildings and this restaurant here next door. None of them have got a mask on. Uh, this woman, they're walking right in to this uh, SUB st uh, uh, store. Uh, to get a rest restaurant store, and they're sitting down in there. I can see them sitting down in there eating their sandwich, big old long sandwich, whatever the hell they get it. And I mean, they're acting like, you know, everything's normal. Well, they're putting my life in danger and, and theirs too. Uh, today's Earth Day, and I found out that the Venice canals are clean. They can see the Himalayas, India can. Uh, there's no smog and stuff in Los Angeles and other places. I mean, the earth is fighting back like Avatar. And we're not paying attention to it. We, they don't give a shit. Just, I want to do my own thing. Well, these people, i seen restaurants open. And I'm in this little old town of Edmond. Uh, I'm sitting in the car. And when my son comes back from wearing his mask and gloves and everything else, I spray his hands and, this, and these jacket down with Lysol, but uh, nobody are paying any attention to that uh, six foot rule. They're not paying any attention to uh, to any of it. In other words, I, I'm wondering how many people's gonna be dead in six months because of this crap. If we jump the gun too early, we just want, it'll come back with a vengeance. Well, to me, being high risk that I am, I probably should have stayed home, but I'm sitting in a car and I've sprayed my lights all, killed everything around here. And I wear, I got my mask, I got my gloves. I got all kinds of masks and gloves. And, but I don't plan on getting out anywhere you'll get hiccups. But, uh, like I said, he had to go in there to fill out the taxes and stuff. And uh, I ain't got my stimulus check either. I ain't got my uh, subsidy check either. I ain't got any, any damn thing. But we're going to have hardships, you know. And like that governor said in New York, there's no recovering from death. You know, if you catch the virus and die, okay, you went back to work and got a couple of paychecks. They said, well, the, the unemployment ain't kicked in for them yet. Well, okay. Uh, the stimulus check ain't got there to them yet, okay? The mine ain't either. Uh, the subsidy check for businesses, mine ain't got there either. So therefore, we're in hardship. But a hardship is not death. You know, recovering from death, I don't think you can do it. I mean, unless you're going to be like Lazarus, come back out of the grave, but I ain't seen Jesus here lately. Uh, the point about it is, we've got to take it one step at a time and listen to the professionals. Apparently, the president's not listening to him. He's more listening to the e uh, economics, uh, you know, the business people, getting them all to protest and stuff. But I, I have watched these people come back in, go back out. This man, young man's coming out of this sandwich place. No gloves, no nothing. Got his sandwich, getting in his car. And he had been sitting there eating his sandwich in the restaurant. And the restaurants are opening up, regardless of the stay-at-home order or anything else. They don't care. So, therefore, uh, in the little town I was at, we went to the post office. And I looked next door. They had the city cafe there. And um, every, every town's got a city cafe. Uh, I don't know what the name of it is. But anyway, they're sitting there drinking coffee. These farmers and everything just cutting them and laughing. And I'm looking through the plate glass window at them. Uh, I'm thinking, hey, you know, okay, let's, <clears throat> I wonder how they're going to be doing in six to eight weeks from now, if they ain't in the grave. You've got to pay attention, and if they, if they don't want to pay attention, the death toll will be up in the millions. I think, uh, the last one was 20 to 30 million, uh, and that's a, a, a light estimate of the Black Plague. I think that was what they figured out, the, the swine flu or the 1918 pa pandemic was 20 or 30 million or something like that. 
I just don't want to be counted in one of them. I think I can do a little hardship. I ain't got no stimulus check. I ain't got uh, my, uh, or anything else, but I'll manage. Just like I said, I can manage as long as I'm alive. Ain't no managing after you're dead. And I just can't believe people are not, I mean, these pe there's people in there cooking in that restaurant. I can see them making sandwiches right through the glass. They don't cook, I guess. But they're making it with, uh, they do have plastic gloves on, but they ain't got no uh, mask on. So if they keep cough and sneeze on your sandwich, you just have to eat it, I guess. Hell with that shit, I cook my own. <laughs> well, I'm just sitting here. That's it. I'm just sitting here wondering. Uh, everybody wants things back to normal. Well, it's never going to be normal. I'm going to tell you something right now. If I get out in the public from now on, and I don't care if the pandemic goes away or whatever, I'm wearing a mask. It learned me one thing. I'm wearing a mask because of the pollution will come back. I'm wearing a mask because somebody might have a, just a cold or they might have just some kind of little snipples or something. I don't want to be sick. <clears throat> I got, I'm got. i at high risk for anything that comes down the pike. So why would I want to even have a cold or diarrhea or anything that would stop me from enjoying my life at the full potential? So I'm going to wear me a mask. I may, I've been making some of them. I got got a surgical mask here and I got an N95 on the dash. I got gloves and I got a homemade mask and I'm gonna be wearing this homemade mask regardless of what and my gloves when I'm out in public from now on. From now on if I shop at any store I'm wearing gloves and I got my hand sanitizer. They, they want to get people back. It's what really pisses me off. Got the window cracked about like that and a little bit of rain coming in. Uh, if people want to uh, help people, where the hell's all the damn out rubbing alcohol? Where the hell's the damn peroxide? Uh, I can't even buy damn, uh, uh, I've got a few of them left, the little tear off alcohol pads. Uh, hell, I've been using water and, and bleach to try and take my damn diabetes shot. At least it sterilizes the area, you know. Uh, and that's after you, you know, take a shower. So I have to wait, take a shower uh, to take my damn diabetes shot. And if I have to, if during the day, if my diabetes climbs before I can take a shot, insulin, I have to go back and get in the shower, shape, you know, wash all up, shower it all up, and then get out my solution of uh, two tablespoons for my little vial of bleach water and wipe that and it stings like hell and then let it dry before I can get my damn self a shot because I ain't got no damn alcohol come on get the alcohol back in the store get the damn peroxide back in the damn stores so people can at least protect themselves I guess I could put and make a steel but I got a damn I got enough damn mash I can in a pressure pot and a copper tubing, I guess I can make my own damn steel, make my own damn alcohol. And that alcohol you could drink. <laughs> damn, I look red faced this morning. I guess. <clears throat> yeah. I'm getting to be orange faced like the president. <laughs> it ain't makeup. Mm. I stayed out in the sun yesterday. I got me some vitamin D. I sat out there with the puppy dogs. I got where I don't. I, uh, I'm quite a ways from many of my neighbors, but I did holler at the neighbor next door, the guy that was mowing the grass, and see if he wanted to mow mine for a certain amount of money. But anyway, and we're working on a deal to mow my grass when he mows his. I don't even do that anymore. But like I said, I've been sitting out in the sun, playing with the puppy dogs. And uh, I want to get it back up. Here comes some people out. They, no gloves, no nothing. They've got it from the tables. Now there's... Look like they're Hispanic. Yeah, they're getting in the car and leaving. And, uh, but like I said, people not paying no damn attention. Earth's fighting back. Avatar. You know, God heard you. You know what it says in the Bible. It says you piss God off and he'll throw rocks at you. <laughs> I'll be looking for some damn meteorites next. It'll be the ten plagues of Egypt. Eh. 
Well, I better let you go. I can talk all day. Talk to you guys later.